The GitLab solution is an integrated platform for DevOps that covers most of the stages in a DevOps pipeline. GitLab enables collaboration by providing features to manage issues and milestones through dashboards. These features allow the team to organize their tasks into groups, projects, epics, issue boards, and so on. Different members are able to work through the life cycle of a change request from building a query, reviewing, approving, merging, and eventually launching it. At a high level, the GitLab CI-CD feature can execute pipelines to manage the various stages of the DevOps lifecycle. This diagram shows the various phases of a typical workflow as we go through verification, packaging, and release. The continuous integration phase focuses on automatic build, test, and checks on code quality, whereas the continuous deployment phase handles the packaging of the created artifacts and the eventual deployment into production. This video highlights some aspects of the management of mainframe applications lifecycle with IBM Z DevOps Solutions and GitLab. To demonstrate some of the GitLab capabilities, we'll log into GitLab as Naveen, who is the application team lead. Naveen has access to a set of projects that are part of a larger business application. As the team lead for the GenApp application, Naveen is interested in having insights on the development activities. When browsing through the GenApp repository, he sees that the last execution of the pipeline failed. Zooming in and clicking on the build job, he observes that one of the COBOL files did not compile correctly. Back in GitLab, Naveen checks for the defined milestones for his GenApp project. The March 2021 release is in the process of being published, as it now only contains completed issues but the problem he just encountered could delay its closing. Naveen decides to open a new issue to report the compilation error he has detected. When opening the issue, he provides a meaningful title and a short description of the problem and assigns it to Deb, the developer of the application. He is also able to link this issue to a milestone, tag it with specific labels, and define a deadline for its resolution. Once the issue is created, he can write comments and set an estimated duration of the effort to resolve the problem. This time tracking capability is helpful to analyze the time spent at each stage of the pipeline with the help of the value stream management feature in GitLab. Naveen is able to visualize the new issue showing up on his management dashboard. He can sign out and let Deb work on the problem. When logging into GitLab, Deb reviews the list of issues that are assigned to her. The issue that Naveen just opened is on top of the list. When she opens it, she can browse the entire thread of events and comments provided by her peers. As she is taking care of the issue now, she changes the to-do label into doing and creates a merge request. By doing this, GitLab automatically creates a branch for her to work in isolation to fix this compilation error. She can now switch to her integrated development environment, which is IBM Developer for Z. With the help of the integrated eGit plugin, she can clone the GitLab repository of the GenApp project into her local workspace, check out the merge request branch, and begin editing the code. As mentioned by Naveen in the issue's description, the compilation problem is related to the LGD PDB01 COBOL program, so Deb needs to check the content of this file. With the help of IDZ's built-in syntax checker, she easily identifies the line that is causing the issue. In this case, an invalid keyword was coded in the SQL statement. After fixing it, Deb commits the change to her local workspace and pushes back the content of her merge request branch into GitLab. When checking the issue back into GitLab, she notices that the pipeline for building the GenApp application is already running. With the help of the Auto DevOps feature in GitLab CI-CD, the execution of the pipeline was automatically triggered by the last commit Deb performed on her topic branch. When looking at the status of the pipeline's job, Deb observes that the build process successfully compiled the file that she just edited a few seconds ago. She is now able to provide some feedback in the merge request thread by posting a comment and reporting the time spent on this issue. When done, she can mark the request as ready so it can be reviewed by her team and merged into the main branch of the application named Demo.
After being notified by mail that the issue was closed, Naveen logs into GitLab, checks the status of the merge request, and reviews the work performed by Deb. As the pipeline ran correctly for this branch and the merge request is marked as ready, Naveen just needs to merge this branch into the demo branch. Again, a pipeline execution is automatically triggered. He is now able to check for the build stage in this pipeline. In the output log of this job, he notes that the file modified by Deb was successfully processed by DBB. Back to GitLab and checking the milestones set for the GenApp application, Naveen verifies if there are any remaining problems to be solved. Now that all issues are closed, he can safely close the March 2021 milestone. He is then able to create a release in GitLab. After providing a tag name and title, he is able to link the release with a milestone for traceability purposes, and he can insert additional notes. When the release is created, the content of the GitLab repository is packaged for archiving purposes. That concludes this demo.